uh, in all fairness, we need to go to Ibrahim. We, we kind yeah. of cut him off hey, uh, last weekend. We kind of ran out of time at the very end. Hi, Robbie. How you've been? I need your help. Excellent. I just bought a wireless USB adapter for my desktop. I do not want all the wiring mess from the kitchen to the bedroom in my new apartment for the DSL internet. It's an AirLink 101 wireless and USB adapter model AW. Double L six zero seven seven. It has a Windows only CD driver, of course, and works good in Windows XP after the installation of the driver. But I couldn't see my wireless connection in Ubuntu, and so I sought and found help from the internet that tells you the steps. As in the directions, I installed NDIS wrapper utils one point nine. Uh, NDIS wrapper common and the NDIS GTK using the Synaptic. After that, I went to System Administration Windows Wireless Drivers and tried to install the INF file, auto run yeah. so INF, it's gone through the, from the this CD. wrapper installation and setup. But it tells me drivers already installed. Still, I tried mm -hmm. to reboot, but I can't get it to see my wireless internet. When I open up Windows Wireless Drivers again, it says auto run invalid driver with the icon all crossed out with a big X on the left part of the window. And if I remove this by clicking remove button, try to install auto run.inf from the CD again, it still says driver is already okay. installed. So she said I can interrupt, so it's, so it's okay, right? How yes. far in are we? Okay. So, Abraham, a couple things. First of all, I think you're reading tutorials, and you're right, John Robert, I'm going to touch on that INF issue. Um, you're reading tutorials from an old version of Ubuntu, I think, because you're going to be able to find uh, a lot of help in your system, uh, your hardware devices, uh, administration, hardware drivers should be the place to look in a new modern version of Ubuntu. Um, as John Robert's saying, you're, you're trying to load the autorun.inf file. That is the Windows file that automatically loads the setup.exe file when you pop that disk in the drive. The one that you actually want, that's the wrong one. Um, it's not going to give you a driver out of that file. If you're going to use NDIS wrapper the way that you are, you need to find the INF file for the driver. It'll probably be in subdirectories of, uh, of that this, the folder structure of that disk, but sometimes, unfortunately, um, they're built into like a setup file, or or they could be in a, a cab or something like that, a cabinet file, which is like a compressed file. So you might have to search around for it. But uh, if you look in the disk, you might have a, like a folder called drivers, and then you might have one called Windows 2000 slash XP. You want to look in there. Stick stick with something that's 2000 or XP or higher. Uh, because if you go with 98, then you've got older drivers and things. So, but uh, but the file that you're looking at is the wrong file. So, but like I say, system administration and uh, hardware drivers, you might find that Ubuntu is able to detect your driver and automatically install it. But I'm not sure if what you've done might have undone some of the capabilities of that uh, of that program. But it's worth a shot. Abyssinian says the Ubuntu 9.10 wouldn't recognize the USB adapter. Wouldn't, eh? So if you're going to do NDIS wrapper manually, just make sure you grab the right INF file. Look on that CD, find it recursively in, in the folders and stuff, but it's not the auto run. It's going to be something, it'll be, you know, a, a weird name, .inf. You can probably find some help uh, if you do a, a search for the particular model.